Let me make this very passionate appeal to all our esteemed viewers and subscribers. BVI Channel 1 needs an urgent boss for our mobility. This car is no longer serving. And this year, we need to cover a lot. And we need effective mobility, just like this bus, a Siena bus car. We are looking at between 3 to 4 million naira to secure this bus. And we depend on your contribution and donation. Please donate through the account you're seeing on the screen or you call the following numbers that is also on display. 0810-4545-533 or you call 0810-420-7522. We look forward for your donation to help us serve you better. I don't yet know I have to defend my people when it's my first post. I carried the scare of the world until I was lured into my grave. I left behind the only legacy of my people. Allow Africa to die. Do this for the soul of my people. Kill the rest here in peace. Your freedom and that of your generation and born depends on it. Africa, Bokai. Hello wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, this is BBI Channel 1, I'm Silas Channel Peters. Today we are talking about the leadership of Ndibu, the focus, the development, the economic empowerment and the future and survival of Ndibu as a nation. Today I am honored to sit side by side with a renowned businessman, a trader and the people's leader. He is a man that has represented and is con has continued to represent in different capacity, leadership capacity for Ndibo. I am with Dr. Okudeli Ezewanko, and today we are going to be highlighting on the very important issues that affect Ndibo as a nation. Stick with me uh, on this very interview. So it's a pleasure to have you on this interview. Thank you very much. Um, there is so much um, question being asked by Ndibo. What is the leadership direction for Ndibo politically? What do you think is what Ndibo needs as leadership position in terms of political affairs affecting Ndibo? Thank you very much, Chinedu. I think uh, the, one of the problems that we have, we are not united. Mm. Unity. I think. Uh, what we're supposed to do is to come together as a body. Mm. Forget about selfish interests. Fight for a common interest of a common woman. Mm. Without the elites, politicians, the people that matters in the society in the South, without coming together to champion or to cushion one agenda, uh, we won't succeed. Mm. We must come together uh, like uh, brothers and sisters to fight the common interest of a new woman. And uh, I so much believed, uh, our people say the burden was, this time around, we must have a leader. Mm. 
Yeah. Somebody must come out to read in the book. If we are going to the, to the normal direction that we're supposed to go, we must have a reader, even one or two persons, yeah. to read us. Okay, now having said that, sir, um, Ojuku really um, stood in that gap as one Igbo leader that carried the aspiration of Ndi Igbo. And Apoga happened to be like a symbol of unity regarding Igbo political leadership. Where is it now and what is the hope moving forward? Thank you. Uh, when you talk of Ojuku, you talk of symbol of Apoga. Mm. You talk of the symbol of Igbo nation, mm. as far as I'm concerned. Ojuku has come and gone. And as far as I know, nobody to replace him. As a big, he left a big vacuum. Mm. But what we are trying to do now is to ensure that we get a leader that will surpass Ojuku. Mm. That's what we are doing now. And uh, so many prominent people has come and gone. Somebody like um, uh, Chobo Karibu, okay. Great Zika of Africa, okay. and so on and so forth. So for this is our turn. What we're supposed to do as the politicians, as the elite, is to ensure that we amalgamate our political forces mm. to champion a common interest of a Igbo man. We talk about Abga. I keep saying that Abga is like a moving train. Okay. Abga is a symbol of Igbo nation. Okay. Abga is here. We know some people might be saying Abga is not in Anambra State. It's not. The spirit of Abga is all over the Igbo, Igbo speaking states. The spirit of Ab Abga is there. And we won't allow the party to die. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, Abga must continue to create, uh, to, to go from strength to strength. Uh, 2021 this is the year. We are preparing to for a governorship election. And I can assure you that uh, at the end of everything, Abga will take the day. And because just going, going beyond Anambra State, do you see the possibility of Africa taking the entire Southeast, bringing Igbo political interests together, integrating it together? Well, we need a lot of work to do in respect of that. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, we need a lot of work to do. Politically, Abga is a national party. Mm. And we won't bring Abga down as a state party. Abga is not a state party. Okay. I'm a national assembly. Okay. So I know what Abga is representing. But we have to do a lot of work. To ensure that we we'll get it. Do you see Apuga as that political platform that will project the aspiration of an average individual, a woman anywhere? Of course, that's what I said. Mm. But a lot of work has to be done okay. for us to achieve that. Okay. We can't achieve that by talking. What we're supposed to do is to to bring everybody together, all hands on deck. Okay. Bring the people that matters in the society into Abga. Look for the people that that are grassrooted. Okay. Yeah, exactly. To champion the cause of Abga. Mm. So we are the ground. Okay. And we just have a little work to do to achieve all this. All right. You've talked about the elitist um, perspective, the elitist uh, responsibility. What of the people? How do you intend to carry the people along? Because looking at you, you talked about grassroots, you are a grassroots person. And many of Ndibo today are traders. And you have done excellently well. You are not the one to blow your trumpet, but the, uh, your deeds is all over. As the leader of Amalgamated Southeast Traders Association, um, uh, uh, CIMATA, yes, if I'm not mistaken. So, what do you think that Apoga can do to bring on all Ndibo? To stand behind it, um, Chedo, I think uh, in my little way I've done well in all ramifications. Yeah. When I was the president general of the Southeast Amalgamated Market Traders Association, let me come to Anambra. I was the uh, former president general of the Amalgamated Market Traders Association of Anambra State. Yes. Eighty-five percent of the traders in Anambra State are Abga carried members. Okay. I did it. Okay. I know what it took me to do it. Let me tell you, as far as I'm concerned, Abga is a party that is unbeatable. Okay. It's a party, it's a platform, it's a party. It's like a moving train. Okay. But we have a lot of work, work to, to do, do. Okay. to ensure that we reposition this party to win the forthcoming governorship election. And you can assure Ndibo that their aspiration 
and their desire will be carried to the letter on the platform of Africa. Of course, I've told you before, when you see Ojuku, Ojuku symbol, that yeah. is Africa for you. And when you talk about Igbo Nekos, Igbo Nation, you talk about Din Chukwe Mekot Nekos Ojuku. So the symbol of Ojuku is symbol of Africa, and the symbol of Igbo Nation. That's yeah. what I'm saying. All right. So now, there are things, that's where we're going to cut it, because we don't want this interview to be quite long. We are looking at um, economic development of Southeast. The strength Ndibo has in trading and other commercial activities. Do you think, with respect to Apoga leadership and Igbo leadership in general, to be able to integrate and have an economic um, uh, roadmap that will empower South East to be economically viable. Do you think we have that strength to do that? Thank you. First of all, Chiedu, uh, God helps those who help themselves. Okay. Uh, let me buy this uh, philosophy from our governor, His Excellency, uh, William Madabuchukobiano, about think home philosophy. Akulono, mm Akulono. -hmm. Mm. You see, our people are investing outside the South is much. Mm. You are talking about the economy of South. How can we progress? All the prominent people in, in this state, all the billionaires, all the, ninety eighty five percent of the investment are outside, outside the, the, the Southeast. Mm. So that's why we are saying, think home philosophy. Akuluno, let them come back here and invest. Invest in this Anambra state. If you are talking about economic growth, you talk about investment. Okay. You talk about foreign investors. You talk about people that matter, big business mogul that will come down to this place and invest. So this state will grow economically. And without that, we cannot grow economically. Okay. As far as I'm concerned. So what we are saying is our our people must think twice. Mm -hmm. Come back to this state and invest. Come back to the southeast and invest. Okay. Stop investing outside the southeast. Okay. I didn't say you may you won't have something over uh, there. Yeah. But how small there? Invest the uh, majority of okay. your, your district to the southeast. It and will help us. If we have people like employment mm -hmm. and otherwise. Okay, yes. Because if you you bring down here one factory that may have about one thousand workers. Well, jobs, I know yeah. I know that uh, eighty percent of the workers most come from the southeast. First and concern. Okay. So this this thing will help to create jobs. To honor, honor our timid and employed youths. And with your philosophy, you have plan in place that will enable conducive business environment for this investment to strive. Yes. Okay. I'll be saying this thing time with that number that our governor remains the best governor in security in the country. Mm, which is very So important. when you are talking about business you talk about uh, security of lives and property. Okay. And it's there. The government has to the neighboring environment for business to thrive in this state. At least we're not hearing about so, kidnapping left, right, and center. Not at all. Mm -hmm. In that angle, he has done well. Okay. And we will continue to commend him. Okay. You see? And uh, when you have a neighboring environment, what stops you to come and invest? Come down and invest. Some of us, I was a businessman before I joined the National Assembly. Yes. You see? I you have been representing the trade as I know my investments here. <laughs> yes, yes. Almost 90% of my investments are here. They are here. Mm. So come and invest, you, man. I know how many workers that I have okay. that I'm paying on monetary basis. Yes. You see? By doing so, I've solved some uh, little problems oh, or yeah, some exactly, family. Exactly. So I want all that business more go to do so. That is what I'm saying. Finally, where we are wrapping up, food, food security, food. Because only we do have for our job for you, maybe the Recently, had a program we have been doing in your foundation long before political activities. You've empowered farmers through agricultural grants and loans and all that. Do you yes. believe that Apoga can rejuvenate this consciousness? that Ndibo will have food sufficiency in Ndibo land. Thank you, Chinedu. Uh, let me start about the empowerment that uh, you, know, you talked about. Yes. Um, through uh, federal government, I empowered over 300 farmers. Mm. I gave them grants and market uh, women mm. to 
to go and fetch their farming uh, programs in the, in the Urumba North and South Federal constituency. And also, I distributed uh, uh, agricultural equipment. Mm. So all of them, I distributed it to the farmers. This simple means that I know the importance of farming. Exactly. So uh, now, we are talking about agriculture. Good. Our people, almost 80-75% focus on trade and commerce. But what we are doing now is to educate them to face farming. Mm. You see? There's a lot of benefit in agriculture, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. And the government is distributing all this soft loan for this agricultural loan. They should know what to do to apply for those loans and get the loans and help themselves. Mm. You see, this is the thing some people used to do. The northern part of the country, all this farming of a thing is government money, purely government money. Mm. They'll be using it for years, like five years before they return the money, with literal interest rate of five percent. Mm. So I think uh, my constituents, Olumba North and South because I've told them about this, and I asked them to keep in, so that we, they will benefit from federal government uh, program on agriculture, and that will help a whole lot. Uh, yes, what you are saying is uh, economy of South is well, agriculture is part of it. Yes, food security is part of it. Exactly. But uh, I will tell you that the journey of a thousand miles start with yes. a step. All right. They gradually will be there by the special grace of God. Right. We'll be there. What is important is the entire South is to come together like a team. Others, others will follow. All right. It's a pleasure to have you, sir, Thank on you. this program. God bless Thank you, and may God continue to empower you to Thank give you. Ndibu a course of leadership focus. Thank you. Very and much. we'll be pleased and available to make sure that we bring all the information to the knowledge of our people. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you for watching. This is BVI Channel 1. I believe. You like the video, share it, drop your comment, let's get your opinion. This is time for us to hit the ground running. This is time for Ndibu to refocus our energy on the path of development. And today, we've had it with one illustrious son of Igbo land. And don't forget, we are not politically correct. We don't appear where people just normally appear. We appear where adds value where to the development of an average Igbo man. We are egocentric. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. This is me, Associate Peters, signing out. Stay safe.